welcome back to the March 6th edition of the RHS News. I'm Maddie Luke. And I'm Nate Garding. Congratulations to Sophie Mankey and Sadie Zachman who competed for RHS at the state gymnastics meet. Congratulations to Grody Weinbrenner who competed at the wrestling state meet this past weekend. And congratulations to Austin Cantor who competed at the boys state swimming and diving meet which is also this past weekend. Speaking of sports, spring sports registration is open at GoRogersRoyals.com. Remember, registrations should be completed at least five days before practices and tryouts. You can find information about spring sports starting dates on Schoology, hallway television monitors, or at GoRogersRoyals.com. Seniors, all night grad party tickets are on sale. The party is after graduation at River City Extreme in Monticello, and it's only for RHS class of 2023 graduates. Everyone who attends will get a gift bag worth at least $125. There will be prizes, food, games, a hypnotist, bowling, and laser tag. Plus, someone will win a car. Visit www.rhsgradparty.com to purchase. It's almost prom season, and this year, Rogers High School presents A Starry Night. It's on Saturday, April 22nd at the Rogers Event Center from 7 to 11. Tickets are now $40. Hey seniors, did you know that completing your FAFSA the free application for federal student aid is one of the most important steps in your post-secondary planning. All RHS seniors who compete their FAFSA by March 15th will be entered into a drawing to win a $500 scholarship. If you have questions about FAFSA or need assistance with your application, please attend WIN session with Ms. Hendricht or schedule a meeting with her at rhscareer.youcanbook.me. While we're on the topic of money for college, it's RHS Local Scholarship Program time. Through the generosity of many community members, businesses, and organizations, RHS is able to award over $120,000 to RHS seniors each year through the Local Scholarship Program. How can you get your hands on one of these scholarships? First, check out the Local Scholarship application on the RHS website. The scholarship application is completed electronically through Google Forms. Review the complete list of scholarships and select the scholarships for which you want to be considered based on the eligibility criteria. All scholarships require a general essay and some scholarships will require an additional essay to be submitted. All seniors should apply for their scholarship. There are awards for students going into all kinds of post-secondary programs, four-year colleges, two-year community colleges, or technical programs. Many of the scholarships are not based on GPA, so be sure to check them out and submit your application by the due date March 15th. This is a hard deadline, and no applications will be accepted after noon on March 15th. That's next Wednesday, so don't procrastinate. Well, that's it for announcements. Now let's take a look at this week's Featured, featured segments. segments. Hi everyone, I'm Coach Scavel and I'm here with one of my tennis captains, Eli Olson, to tell you about the preseason meeting coming up Thursday, March 9th at 7 p.m. in my classroom, which is B107. Tennis is open to all boys in grades 7 through 12. Yeah, the team is open to all skill levels as well. Even if you haven't played before, you can join and learn the game. There are no cuts, so even if you don't make varsity, you will still be able to play on JV. If you feel nervous about joining, convince a friend to join with you. You could even play doubles together. 
The nice thing is that everyone gets to play at every match, whether if you're on varsity or JV. We hope to see you all there on Thursday, March 9th at 7 o'clock in B107. Uh, also, feel free to stop by uh, my room or email me with questions. We're always happy to get new players on the team. When you come to the library for online classes or PSEO classes, you need to make sure you sign in so that we know you are in this space. Hey, Hair Pat, we're from Conkle, we're going to check out you're a from, book. You're from where? Conkle. This is Conkle, and you're going to yes. check out a book. Okay, I need you to put your passes in the basket. And then the two of you, it's really important that when you go back to class, that you sign out, because then we'll know when you leave the library to go back to class. Of course. Okay. Sign in the computers, oh, please. yes. Hi RHS students, it's important that you know that every time you come to the library you need to scan in on the Chromebooks and then when you leave the library to go to class or wherever you're headed to, you need to make sure you sign out. That's so we can know where you are at all times. Courtney Vogie for her epic drawings in anatomy. Who am I here with today? Chase Cheslock, hometown hero. Give me a rundown on the fit. Uh, just some white tennies and some. Uh, you tie pants. them? Are they Velcro? What do we no, got? I actually don't know how to tie my shoes. Okay, that's, that's good. why I don't tie. Lulu. Them. Yeah, and like then it. Rogers hoodie. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, uh, who am I here with today? Chase. Give me a rundown. What do we got going on here? You're looking good today. So I got the Yeezy 350 V2s with the American hoodie and the Rogers High School lacrosse sweatpants. Ooh, what do you got on top? Three Rivers Park District hat. You worked there? Yep. You worked there? That is cool. Can you give me a price for all of this fit? The Yeezys are 400 Uh, 400 <laughs> The American hoodie is $50, and then the sweatpants were $35. That is unbelievable. You look great today. And who am I here with today? Nick Johnson. Give me a rundown the fit top um, to bottom. You got the Adidas shoes on. You got some Lulu joggers, oh. you know. They're kind of oh, 180 nice. but I get the discount, so. Oh, you do? You get, yeah. You're an employee, yeah. or no. you know an employee? No. Okay. I just got ways. Um, Got the team jacket on, represent Riders Hockey. Love Dave team Brown. Yeah. Love Dave Brown. Thank you. Yeah. What What would the uh, total cost be for the fit? Ooh, at least at least four hundred. Four hundred. Love 400. it. Today I'm here with Sadie Zuckman, Sophie Mankey. and we hear that you guys made it to the gymnastics state meet. Is that true? Yes. Yes. Okay. First question: What grade are you guys in? Ninth. Well, junior. Wow. Um, what event did you compete in? Bars and floor. Beam. And how did you feel about competing at the state meet for the very first time? I was nervous and excited at the same time. It was a fun experience. Okay. And what was your favorite part about the state experience? Seeing all of our fans up in the stand, dyeing our hair in the bathtub before the competition. It was awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm here with Nolan Gerdes and Nick Johnson. How many syllables are in the word rhinoceros? Three. No. Four. 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 Four.
Four. Yes. What is moving air called? Wind. Yes. What is the farthest planet away in our solar system? Saturn. No. Jupiter. No. Uranus. No. <laughs> Mars. No. Venus. No. Oh. Pluto. No. <laughs> uh, uh, the new ones. <laughs> You said every you said all the Neptune. Oh. If you have a quarter and cut it into thirds, how many pieces do you have? Seven. No. Three. Yes. Uh. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Bob Ross. No. <laughs> the Pope. No. Miss Erdahl. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Mo Mona Lisa's family. Da Vinci. Why would we know oh, that? I knew that. Who was the first man on the moon? Neil Armstrong. Yes. What letter is not in any U.S. state name? Y. No. Z. No. Q. Yeah. For more than a decade, we have tried to make a razor that not only delivers an incredible shave, but is also cost efficient for any financial situation. A physical object that disappears into the experience. The form and display itself revolutionized the razor industry. This is the Nickel Shave Club. I first got the idea for the Nickel Shave Club when I was in college. I saw an ad for the Dollar Shave Club and I said, that's great and all, but I can do better. For the lowest price possible, we give our users a sense of control, confidence, authority, and independence. Ah! Fitted with a carbon fiber body and a single aluminium blade, the Nickel Shave Club razor redefines a clean shave. We wanted to make the company as green as possible. And luckily, the people over at Office Space were kind enough to let us use their refuse. Uh, I found a pencil. We, we, we can use this. I may have spent only a nickel, but I feel like a million bucks. The Nickel Shave Club has got themselves a lifelong customer. This is a terrible product. Who came up with this? While our razors may not be ideal for all skin types, our satisfied, loyal customers have rewarded us with an astonishing 1.2 star rating. And they make great stocking stuffers. Don't count on Santa, count on Nickel Shave Club this holiday season. The Nickel Shave Club, shaving, Reimagine.
well, that's our show for this week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time right here on, on RHS, RHS News. News.